long I've prayed for a contract this big. Now it's here. We need to be grateful. Don't cry. Come on. I miss you so much. We've never been apart for more than two weeks and now... You know I have to do this. And your sauce is gonna be out any moment from now. No, I'm not I'm supposed to be acting spoiled and entitled. No, 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 baby. You, no, you're not. You're far from spoiled, okay? Like you're the perfect woman. The most perfect I know. But I love you so much. I love you so much you hurt sometimes. God knows. God knows I'll miss you. Baby, I don't want to waste this moment feeling sad. What do you want to do? Make memories that I can hold on to. Make love to you. you every single day, okay? If you need anything, just speak to us as. Alright? of separation isn't going down well with Rita, you know? And it just tears me apart to say it's sad, really. What's the cocky smile? <laughs> because look at you. Like two, three years ago, you would have won the award for best player of the year or decade, you know? But here you are tearing up at the thought of being separated from Rita. <laughs> That's the girl I love, okay? You need to know what love is, man. That's what Rita shows me, love. I'm experiencing every part of it, and I love it. Yep. So, uh, you're sure you want to do this? Do I have a choice? <laughs> See, we talked about this, man. We gotta make sacrifices if we're gonna get days going. Yeah, but I really appreciate what you're doing, man. Like, I really do, that you're doing this for us is a big deal. And I don't think I've said this before, but thanks. Yeah. You're welcome, bro. Just make sure you look after my girl and give her everything she needs, all right? Six months is a long time. Just do that for me, okay? I got you, man. I got you.
history. Just sat down there. I mean, the beach was inviting, but my husband is way hotter. Oh, well, there I am. <laughs> Someone's getting cocky. I'm just being confident. It's getting really cold here. Can we go inside? Whatever you want, Mrs. Dave in there. Mm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to grab your phone. Like a please, you don't need to apologize. Anyone with half a brain can tell that you didn't come to the wedding because you weren't happy I got married. Are you really saying that you've forgotten about the incident? Really? No, I'm not saying you can't tell. Madame, nobody called you Shrek here. Calm down. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, congratulations accepted. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, I will. I'll tell him. Okay, bye. Hey. Hey. I like it. That's obvious, right? <laughs> well, she's the only person I know who gets you upset at work that like this. Oh, God. I hate that girl so much. And she's family regardless. Mm, All right? Yes. Don't get all worked up. And besides, I don't want anything to mess up our honeymoon. Mm. Yeah? Dave. Hmm? Thank you for saving me. I'll do it all over again. <laughs> so you're saying that your wife did not say or mention anything about it? Wait, 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 what? All right, fine. Kemi, the press release says that you've been named um, the CEO and chairman of the board of Glitter's Diamonds. I believe you'll be getting their call soon. That's amazing! I didn't think they'll move this fast. I was thinking that we were probably going to wait till, uh, um, after the honeymoon. Yeah, you also say something about following the instructions laid down on the last will and testament of Chief Ferdinand Dyson. So. so, so wait, wait, tell me. Any mention on the East African expansion project? Nope. Okay, uh, no problem. We're on course, okay? Look, I have to go now, all right? Thanks for letting me know, okay? All right, man, take it easy. You needed to have seen the way they were all staring at me at the brainstorming section. Like I was the only copywriter in the place. Mm. Meanwhile, I just spent the whole night looking for something decent to wear. You know? Times like this, I... I miss Dave even more. He always comes up with something great and beautiful. Rita. That I'm going to sit all night and have to listen to you go on and on and on about Dave. I might as well go get myself something very strong to drink. Very important. Hold on. This cousin of mine. Oh. Oh my God. Well, I wonder why you don't have vodka in this house. I mean, who doesn't have vodka in the house? Vodka is life. I don't drink oh, vodka. Okay, you might as well be nice and go off your prudish coat and tell me about how he is in the sack. You know, he strikes me like someone that knows how to take care of a woman properly. You know what I mean? So tell me, cuz. I'm sorry, cousin. I don't kiss and tell. Oh. And please, I don't talk about Dave all the time. What? Yes. Excuse me. Rita, we've been here for like 10 minutes and all you've been saying is Dave, 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 Dave. Uh, do you know what? Yes, you said you want noodles, right? Um, so how do you want me to make your noodles for you? With vodka. You know how I like it. And thank you for asking. Uh, noodles and vodka? Yeah. Oh, fine. Thanks, Cole. Okay. Fine. Oh, thank you. Babe? Hmm? So, um, I got a call from a friend of mine who said he saw a press release naming me 
as the sea of glitter. How surprised. Well, since that, my idiotic sister would not allow me run it, insisting that I'm still on drugs, then what do I do? My father already said he had to be a family member, so... Hey, Rebecca, come on. I know you can handle it. And you will handle it. They need to have a little bit of faith in you, though, man. You've been clean for six, seven months. Terry, trust me, my sister will never believe that I could ever get off drugs. Shit, I know you will. And I know you will run glitter. It's just a matter of time, right? And you know this is temporary. I'm gonna hand it over to you once you're ready. You don't have to, okay? If you're running it, then I'm running it too. It feels the same way. And you're incredibly beautiful. You've said that to me a thousand times. everything about you. Baby, I miss you too. You know, and I'm going crazy with things I mean, going on and on about you. Oh, she's visiting? Yeah, you know how tall she, she can get. She's having a house remodeled and she's with me for now. But she's traveling soon. Well, I'm glad that you're not alone. Yeah. Ella is good company. But she doesn't have rippling muscles and a killer smile that makes my heart race. I have missed your humor. I miss you. I can't kiss her, can I? Alright. Okay now, baby, you need to go to sleep now, okay? I've been trying to call you for over 20 minutes, but your phone is busy. Who have you been talking to? Oh, that's my sister. She's in an argument with her husband again. You know, I've been trying to mediate their fight, and you know, calling him, I'm calling her. I've been calling him back, trying to calm the situation down. I didn't want to be in here talking about it and bother you, that's why. I don't even know why she's with him. Does she love him? Yes, she does, but I don't know why. Just subtract. She doesn't listen. Don't worry, there's something. We're bothering my honeymoon. Miss you. I'm sorry. I was just worried. That's all. I'm, I'm okay. All right. Let's go get a drink. Okay. The weather is nice outside. Okay. Let's go by the park. All right. Let's go by the park. Don't you think you're being a tad bit unreasonable? You've been with this company since inception, so why do you just want to up and leave? Mr. Odion, I need my salary. I didn't volunteer to work here for free. I need it. And if you will be patient, you will be paid. Mr. Emedo is working on something. That is the same thing you said to me two months ago. It is now five months. I, I am well aware of that. Yes, but are you also aware that I have a sick mother at home? And my salary is our only source of income. Um, I totally understand your plight. All 
Right, and we sincerely apologize. All of these things should be taken care of very soon. Hi, Grace. Who's that? Good morning. All I have is one week. At the end of one week, I get nothing. I'm leaving. Excuse me. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just uh, a few minor logistic issues that um, tied our funds down. But it's nothing. It's, oh. it's good to see you. Uh, what can I offer you? Tea, coffee, juice? Nah, I'm fine. I don't want anything. So I came to drop this. Oh. I actually brought them from Dave's office for a research for an art campaign. Oh, okay. So I rarely see you these days. Is it because Dave is not around? I've missed you. Uh, your girlfriend, huh? Her name again. Uh, uh we broke up. <laughs> sorry. No, I wasn't sorry to see her go. Okay, um, I have to go. Work. You have actually brightened up my day. I couldn't ask for more. Thank you. Okay. Do have a great day. Bye. And please. I'll, I'll take care of it. How is my crazy but loving cousin doing this morning? <laughs> Hungover. But thanks for the compliments anyways. I guess you're ready for your uh, vacation. I am and I hope the result leads up to the hype. I wonder what I was thinking when I asked Chi Chi to make travel arrangements for me. Mm. I think I was high as you know, on vodka. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Ella, wait, 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 wait a minute. If this holiday is costing you as much as you say it is, then the hotel shouldn't be that bad. Hmm. Amen to that. So I'm ready for work and I'll drop you off at the airport. Oh, thank you. You're far too kind. And you look so cool. Thank you, I know. <laughs> oh god, Ella, you're impossible. Friday and Amara didn't even bother to show up today. This plan of yours, man, I, I don't know. I don't know if you've still got this, man. I'm already dipping into my personal savings to keep this place running. Sometimes I wonder if your, 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 your head is still in the game. Dave, you, women, and a beautiful resort are a bad combo. You can't blame me for wondering if you are slipping into your old player ways.
cut this other one short. Why? Are you tired of me already? No, 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 babe. No, that's not it. I'm just restless, you know, being in the same spot for so long. Besides, this, this result is stifling. Uh, um, I'm thinking maybe if you want, we could go spend a week in Ubud Ranch. I hear that the weather there is unpredictable. We'll just stay here. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Just that you have to look for ways to keep me from being bored. Mm. You know, I'm really good at that, Mr. Inedo. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yes, I am. Want me to show you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. I have a reservation. Okay, your name, please. Ella Ikemefina. Oh, Miss Daniela Ikemefina. You're welcome. You're in suite 57. It's on the ground floor with the YG of the beach. I'm mm. sure you're going to love it. I'll love it even more if you've been nice enough to send me a bottle of vodka to sure. help me settle in. We'll do just that. Please do hold on while I get the portal to assist with your luggage and as well show you to the room. Oh, One minute. thank you. It's so no, good. Like, you are good too. Oh, oh, oh my God. Somebody tell me I'm not dreaming. What's going on here? So this is your business trip, right? Why are men so horrible? Babe, do you know this person? I, I don't know. I, I think she could, she's got things mixed up. <laughs> Maybe you got us mixed up, all right? I'm sure. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Where, 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 where do you think you're going to? Where do you think you're going to? I knew you were no good. I knew it. Did she just... Hey, excuse me. Is this your man? Hell no. I am way smarter than that. Then why are you here trying to disrupt our honeymoon? Oh. Honeymoon? I knew you were nothing but a useless man. I knew it! Excuse me. I am taking care of business. How could you? Why am I so horrible, useless? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll leave the lovebirds alone. But I'm sure you know how you know how this will end, right? You know that. What? Hey, let's just go, okay? This this whole mess has got a twist. Are you absolutely sure that you don't know that woman? Well, she said she you, you sounded like you guys had dated before. I don't understand. I don't know if you guys have never dated because she sounded scorned. Well, she said no. I don't. You, I'm not going anywhere. Look at me, I'm here. Look, that woman is crazy. She looks like she, she, she's on marbles or something. I don't know. And as, look, I think we should just leave here because ain't no telling what she, she can do. You think she can harm us? Well, I, I don't know, but look, I rather not have your life at risk. Maybe we should just relax, okay? And then I'll, I'll go sort this out with the manager. I mean, if we don't know her, why do we have to leave? Look, look your Superman is here. Look.
place would kill Brutale. Well, you, you can't tell Rita about this. The ring looks quite expensive. It looks like she's got some money. So is that why you're betraying her? I'm not betraying Rita. I love her, you know this. She's the only woman for me. Hmm. The ring says otherwise. The ring is just a rose. And I look, this is way beyond me. A couple of months ago, we lost our major client. Great job, Dave. Great job. Jeez. The one major meeting we had with the CEO of Stokeman, and you decided to pull a no show. Wow, you're just you're simply a piece of work. So I already had a rough day, okay? I don't I don't need you in my face right now. A rough day? Did you say a rough day? Well, get ready to have a rough year because Stockman just pulled out. Son, I'm sorry, okay? Oh, yes. Oh, damn right you are. You are sorry as good for a partner, and I'll never forgive you for this. Do you know how long it took me to get this son, the, the, the guy to come and sit down with us? Sons, I almost lost Rita today. I, I've been trying to get the guy to sit down with us, and you're here. To... What did you just say? I almost lost Rita today. That's why I couldn't make the meeting. Um, how is she? Is she, she alright? Her appendix ruptured. For a minute I thought... I don't even know what to think. I thought I was, I was going to lose it. She was going to die. Yeah. Um... Where is she now? Is she okay? She's at the hospital. The doctor said she had to go for surgery immediately to take it out. She said she's going to be fine. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's very insensitive of me. Sorry. Well, don't worry about it. I'll put a call through to Stockman see if I can get him to reconsider. I'm sorry. Things kind of went down the hill after that, and suddenly, we were struggling hard to keep Day's concepts going. Osaze didn't say anything after that, but I knew he blamed me, and he was right. This was my mess, and it was mine to fix. Anyway, I, I met Kemi about two weeks later, and at that point, I didn't even think anything of it. I was up to my neck in depth, and there I was playing Sir Galan to a crackhead. For a fleeting moment, I wondered if nearly losing Rita had messed me up so bad, I wasn't even thinking straight anymore. Anyway, I managed to get the young lady's address, and the security guard at the house confirmed she lived there. He helped me get her inside and thanked me for bringing her home. He seemed nonplussed by the whole incident, and I gathered it was a regular thing.
I made your coffee. You okay? Yeah, I... You seem pretty... I was high on drugs, you can say it. Just... People who bring me back usually take advantage of me. Why didn't you? Wait a minute, are you cold? It's just the aftermath of the mess and the cook. It's usually bad. Best part is I'm supposed to chair a meeting in less than an hour. Well, hey, maybe you should, you should take this. You need this more than I do. Then. Oh Go ahead. Oh, easy, easy, easy. My name is Kemi Ferdinand Daisy. What? Wait, Ferdinand Daisy? The, the same Ferdinand Daisy of Glitter's Diamond? Guilty. Are you okay? Hey, maybe you should take some more of us. Two cups of coffee and a cold shower later. I was ready to feed. I put the whole thing out of my thought. Or so I thought. Your boss is heartless. He's a piece of shit. Language, sweetheart. Yeah, but what kind of creep orders you to work a week after having surgery? Well, I was wrong about this job. And I knew what I was getting into. And I can't crumble now, okay? You should be in bed resting. You need rest. Even the doctor said that. You need rest. Come here, my sweet boy. Come here. Okay, don't worry. Listen, I would sit behind my desk and work. And I promise to come home and rest in bed each day. No, I plan to see to that. I'm going to take you to work myself and pick you up every day. And if I have to stay there, I'll wait. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm just quickly just go, get ready my makeup and everything. I'll meet you downstairs. Come here. I love you. I felt like I was losing control over everything that mattered to me, and I didn't like the feeling. The office was in shambles. My girlfriend was being treated like a modern slave by some overbearing old man. And my savings were way down. Anyway, Pemi called later to tell me the meeting went fairly well. And friends of some sort. It was nothing romantic. She didn't hold a candle to Rita. Still doesn't. Stand. Stand. Right. So why not start with that? Who let you in? Well, your door was unlocked. And I can see why. You and your friend probably got caught up in the heat of things. Mm. Um, um, Please. That's my sister for back here. And our husband, Jaye. Pleasure to meet you. Nice meeting you. What happened to your maid? For like, what do you want? Well, 
I called an emergency meeting of the board. Why? I'm going to vote that it be ruled incompetent to run day to time. What are you talking about? Kemi, your drug addiction is compromising the company. Hey! Put you out here. This is between my sister and I. Mind your business. Mm -hmm. I will not allow you jeopardize the future of this company mm -hmm. because of your stupid excesses. What stupid excesses? Kemi, you're a drug addict and an alcoholic. And quite frankly, you know as well as I do that, if not for Dad's will, you will not run a company as big as Glitter Diamonds. And Dad's will clearly states that if you or your husband, if you and your husband in the event that you have won, cannot run the company that a family member should take over, and that is what the board will do on Monday. You want to take Glitter from me? For like I try it. Please. By all means, try it. I will fight you with everything that I have. So get ready. Her kid says, I'm not fighting with you. Get cleaned up. Convince me that you can run a company as big as Glitter Diamonds. And we will talk. Can you imagine these people? See, eh? let me tell you, I will put a bullet in your head and I will not even feel anything about it. Do you understand? You could get in trouble for that. Don't mind that. That illegitimate bastard. Ever since my dad brought her home, it's been one trouble after the other, one headache after the other. Now she wants to take the company away from me. Try it! Try it for that day! God, I hate that bitch so much. I, I could skin her alive. <clears throat> Nothing is as bad as it is when it starts. What you need to do is figure out a way to counter her plans, period. Not picking guns or, or knifing anybody, you know? All right? It's all right. You good? Gotta run, all right? Look, I'm gonna figure out a way to to store your sister's plans. I'll figure something out, okay? I gotta go down. I'll figure it out. to get a doctor to give a medical report stating that Kemi was healthy and off drugs. It was a lie, of course, but it would buy her some time. However, my mind kept going back to what Falaka said about Kemi having a husband to run the company instead of her. And the fact that the company was in the process of making expansion plans to span to the whole East Africa. It was the sort of contract of Sazia and I needed to get us out of the red. By the time I arrived at Rita's office to pick her up the next day, a plan was born. Sir, you're not saying anything now, you? Are you really serious about this thing? Sir, this thing is going to work. You know they think? Guy, you don't crystal. I swear, you, know, you, you don't colo. You, you've literally gone local. Do you know what you're planning today? Hey, lower your voice, okay. Look, sir, all I'm going to do is woo this babe and then marry her. After which I will award the expansion contract to a company you and I will register. After that, I'll get an annulment or divorce the babe. I go my way, she goes her way. It's easy, simple. Nah, man, but it's not that deep, I beg you. We are not that desperate, all right? We still have that hospital presentation next week, all right? So let's, let's just get our heads out of the clouds. Let's seal this thing and we are good, all right? It's not that bad. Please, let's look for some other things that are more feasible. Please. Sounds like you're listening to yourself. 
Do you want to be poor forever? This is ridiculous, Dave. Just drop it. Um, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. There's been a flurry of activities around here because of the proposed change in management. I shouldn't bore you with that. Um, anyway, the board met yesterday. But first of all, I just want to say that your presentation was very well received. And I thought it was impressive. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, however, the board does not think that this concept has what it takes to handle specialized construction. So I'm afraid we may have to take another direction. Um, sorry, madam, but specialized construction is not exactly new to us. As a matter of fact, we have done a lot of these projects or constructions. It's just that... I, I am sure that is true. But the board has made its final decision and there's nothing I can do about it. It is no longer in my hands. So if you may excuse me, gentlemen, I have um, another meeting to attend to. It's been a busy day around here. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. I'll see you some other time. We're losing everything. This is the second deal that we're losing. The first one, he wasn't even there. He put a no-show on me, and now this time again, he didn't even show up. What is, what is going on? I just really hope that this plan of his still works and I hope his head is still in the game because I don't really understand what is going on. Kemi. Kemi. Kimmy. Why is she so hell bent on self destructing? You explode. It's not. You just hung over. Dave. Huh? You're my savior. Stop it. Just relax, okay? and pain to go away. What do you mean? Pain and loneliness. My parents died in the U.S. six years ago. In a bomb blast. And ever since then, I just... I don't even know how to... I just want to die. Sorry to hear that. What about your siblings? Do you have any? My brother. My parents disowned him when they found out he was gay. He also turned his back on the family. I don't even know where he is right now.
feel so lonely. I'm here now, okay? You don't have to ever feel lonely again. I proposed to Kemi and she said yes. I mean, why wouldn't she? I had saved her and saved her company. I was her savior. And every time she said that, I felt like the world was traitor. to handle that big job. I was going to be away for about six months. The plan was to marry Kemi and then become CEO of Glitters. Then award the expansion contract to Sazi and I, after which I then divorce her. You know, you're very stupid, though. Ella, I swear to you, I love Rita. I love her so much. I'll give my life for hers in a second. As crazy as it sounds, I'm doing all this because of her. I swear to you. That's why you cannot mention this to her. Please. 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 I know you love Rita. I see the way you put her all over each other. Yes. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're stupid. So don't breathe easy yet. Please. I'm begging you, please. Please. It's fine. I won't tell her. And the only reason I'm not telling Rita is because I know it will kill her. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. But it will cost you. Okay. Okay. Just name it. Name it. I'll keep in touch and tell you what exactly I want from you. Don't leave. Your rich hair is approaches. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just telling your husband about how sorry I am about my albus yesterday. I am really, really sorry. Honestly, I am. It's all right. It's all right. But she, she, she's. She mistook me for somebody else. Yeah, it's funny how people look so sane. I thought he was actually my friend's husband, um, Chidi, yes. He looks so much like Chidi. Yeah, so I thought it was Chidi. And Chidi is married to my very good friend. <laughs> so it's, I it's thought it was him. I'm really, really sorry. So what do I do to make it up to you? Lunch, drinks, anything? It's fine. You've done enough already. Oh. Can I talk to you upstairs? Sure. sure. Thank you. This marriage like this. You don't deserve to be saddled to a drug addict. I had no idea you were still using. Are you okay? I'm not sure. But one 
one thing I'm sure of is if I don't stop and kick this habit, you leave me. Okay. You don't have to say anything, please. I'm going to bed. Totally get used to this. It's so calming. I know, right? Cocktail isn't bad either. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I need a refill. You want one? Mm, I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Don't be long. That expensive ring on your finger says otherwise. So where's the missus? There is no missus. Her name is Kemi. Someone's in denial. Hmm. Anyways, you're just the person I wanted to see right now. I think I have come up with what I want from you. Okay, and what is it? Hmm. A one night stand with you. Sexy. Very funny. Ella, please. It's not waste time. Just tell me exactly what you want. If it's money, I'll pay you. I'll do an, a, a transfer now, please. I am being serious. Oh, come on. Wipe off that shocked look off your face. You know, I've always had the hearts for you ever since I met you, and I know you know that. Don't make things difficult for me, please. Oh, I beg you, please. On. Come on, you've been dishing it out to the Harris, so I might as well have my own share of you. Come on, it's just sex. It's nothing serious. Yeah, I'm not a piece of meat, okay? Why, why are you being so sanctimonious all of a sudden? Look, I have promised to keep my mouth shut. Hmm. Lips sealed. As long as you make me happy. So, tonight, 10 p.m., my room. Which one tell Kim? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're a very resourceful guy. I mean, see what you did with your financial mess. Genius. I know I could trust you to come up with something. <laughs> hmm. So, suit 517. Keep a lady I'm so sorry. Look, um, it's okay. Alright, you're safe now. You're safe. Please, can I? 
get a little cash. I need to get a taxi. Where are you going? Home. No. No, you're traumatized. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to let you go out tonight by yourself, especially seeing that you don't have a phone. No, forget it. No. Please, Osas. No. I will fix you dinner and then a warm bath and then you just go to bed. No, Osas, please. I want to go home. I don't want what happened at Dave's place to repeat itself again, please. I want to go no, home. I am. I am so sorry about that. I let, I, I, I'm sorry for coming on to you like that. I let my emotions get the better of me. But you know how I feel about you. You know I'm crazy about you. Both of us know, all right? But you chose my friend and I'm dealing with it. It's fine. But I promise that I will not try anything. My home is safe. Please. Look, unlike Dave, I am unwilling to take the risk. Okay, sorry, that came out wrong. I'm sorry. Look, Dave asked me to look out for you, and I just want to do that. All right? I have a, a guest room. There's a bed there. You can stay there. I promise I won't bother you. Here. Um, I think you'd be more comfortable in these. They're actually new. Um, I got them a while ago, but I haven't really gotten around to wearing them. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you're sure you don't want to have dinner? Um, I had something in the office if I left. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about the robbery, uh, but I'm happy that you're fine. I'll, I'll just go. Good night. I guess I have to call the office to inform them that I'll come in late today. It's Saturday? Yes. I work on Saturdays. Dave hates it, but... It is what it is. Well, you're not going to work this Saturday. I'm going to call your office and tell them that you got mugged. And after that, we'll get you a new phone. Argue with you never works. Uh. You learn fast. It doesn't. 
Like, I was thinking of calling Dave to tell him what happened to you. I, you'll probably kill me that I didn't tell him immediately. Yeah, so let me just call him. Hello? Oh, my, my sister's husband. Oh, okay. I'm going for my room. Hello? Hello? Hello, Sas. Sorry, sorry about that. Alpha. What? Where is she? Wait, 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 wait. How is she? Dave, she's fine. Alright? Calm down. She's fine. She's right here. Put her on the phone. Put her on the phone. Put her on the phone. Alright. Talk to her. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. Baby, are you alright? Yes. I'm fine. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Jeez. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm relieved that you are not alone. Look. Baby, it's, it's alright. This is what I'm gonna do, okay? What's that? Good. Wait, just call me when you get there, all right? I miss you. I miss you so much. I just wish you were here. Babe, I can't stand this anymore. I really do miss you. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to go through all this. All right, just make sure you call me, okay? All right. I love you. I love you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so, so much for everything. You know you've been a great help ever since this happened. Thank you. Right. Look, you know I'll gladly go to the ends of the earth for you. Like, it's not a problem, okay? Seriously. Look, um, why don't I take you to dinner tonight? Please. Um, no, I don't think we should. Come on, it's just dinner. Come on. Mr. Saz, I'm sorry. I can't. Besides, I'm going over to Mom. Dave's orders. Dave again. Sorry? Look, Rita, I'm just... I just want to spend some time with you, alright? I'll drive you to your mom's afterwards. Mr. Saz, it's of no use. Listen. I love Dave so much. I love him with all my heart and he's the only man I've ever loved and would ever love. Please, I need you to understand. All right, take care of yourself. Barrister, honestly, I don't need any reminders. Um, all I'm asking is for you to be patient, please. Um, we will pay. We will. Uh, well, I believe it's too late for that, Mr. Osaze. Momentarily, I'll be sending you an email. That email is a notice to quit. What? A notice to quit? You're asking us to quit? I 
sir, please, please, sir, um, don't do this, please. We, we can make... Please give my regards to Mr. Ahmedo. Goodbye. Did I catch up to bad time? Um, no. I was actually going to have my shower. <sighs> Did Dave send you? No, no. Um, I I just came to see you. Oh. <sighs> Look, you, I mean, um, I says, what? What's going on? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, you, know, you know how they say that great things don't come easy. And sometimes persistence is a must. So um, I'm here to take you out for dinner. And I'm not taking no for an answer. All right, so why don't you just allow me come in and just wait while you, while you change? I know about you getting to your car and leave. Wow. And we pretend like this stupidity thing never happened. Wow, wow, wow. Rita. No, I think I didn't spell it out enough. Last time. Also, I can never date you. Even if you were the last man on earth. We have to stay friends at least because I'm engaged to your friend. Your best friend. Please, if you don't mind. Leave. And do not come back. Because you're not welcome here. You need to cut me some slack, okay? I'm doing the best that I can. I heard you the first time, and I'll tell you what I said, okay? I will take care of it. Like, if we lose the goddamn place, we can get another one. We get the glitters deal now. Why are you so bitter? You, know, you sound angry. Is there something else going on? Really, Osaze? You will bring up the stockman deal now? No, no, no. That's a low blow. I said I will take care of it, all right? I'm the one putting everything on the line. I'm sacrificing everything that I have here. The least you can do is be supportive. Spare me all the pathetic sub story, Dave. I've heard all this nonsense before, all right? But do me a favor. Can you extricate yourself from the lap of your rich heiress wife and save the sinking ship? Oh, well, you can stop being a prick and then handle your own part, all right? Thank you. Are you... Are you... Are you... You know what? I don't even... I don't need to take this shit. No, I can't take this nonsense no more. Okay. I'll fix this. I'll fix it. Hey. What do you want? Definitely not dinner. I just want to apologize about the other evening. I think I had a little bit too much to drink. And I have decided to stay within my boundaries like a dutiful friend, as you suggested. About the other evening, I'm sorry if I sounded a little harsh. It's nothing. Um, it's okay. But this is supposed to be a surprise, but giving your mistrust for me... Stop. Don't say that. I, I'm just saying, all right? But, um... Like I was saying, all right, this is supposed to be a surprise, but you have to 
promise that you act surprised when the time comes. Okay, now I'm curious what's going on. Okay, so Dave just arrived a few minutes ago. My Dave. He just arrived the country a few minutes ago and he has asked that I bring you to where he stay. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later this when, evening. When, when, when do we leave? This evening, this 6.20. Evening. Yes, yes, oh. yes. All right, so. Oh, thank you, thank no, you. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, um, so I'll see you this evening. Okay. All right. 6.30. Yeah, 6.30. He's back. Oh, my. It's the last day of our honeymoon. How do you feel? This is everything you thought you'd be. How do you mean? Me, the honeymoon, everything. I like this better. You're so sweet. How did I get so lucky? I love you. I love you more. Sorry, hello, do we know? Do we know them? Who are they? Okay, um, ladies, I would be more than happy to fill in the blanks, all right? So, uh, Kemi, I, uh, um, Kemi, meet Rita, um, Dave's fiance. What? Um, Rita, uh, meets Kemi, Dave's new wife. Are we actually standing in the on your suite? Dave, Dave, what is he talking about? What? Dave. Dave. Okay, so ladies, here, here is a short story. Okay. Um, okay, so here is a short story. So Dave here got married to Kemi because of a little clause in her father's ring. Sass! Sass! Dave, Dave! Okay. Dave! Dave! Chill. Chill. All right, chill. So Dave here got married to Kemi because of a little clause in her father's will that says that your husband can handle the Diamond Empire in case you cannot. And seeing as Kemi here, my darling, is a drug addict, no offense, my love. Dave cashed in, wooed her, and got married to her. Now he was going to use you to get a huge contract for us for your East African project. And as soon as the contract is in the bag, he was going to leave your ass and go back to his fiance. Now I did this because I wanted to see the man that you wanted to get married to, for who he really is. Don't get, chill, all right? Just, just stay right there, all right? That's, look, Risa. Get him out! I did this because of you. I did this because I love you, okay? <laughs> no, this guy. Sass! <laughs> Sass! Kill you! I'm gonna kill you! The cat has been let off of the bag. Hello. So, you planned this with the cream? I didn't tell her the way I was exactly, so how should she know? 
Well, my credit will be wrong to pa. Please, leave me out of this, okay? It's your mess, so fix it. What do we do now? I don't know. I just know I can't trust myself around you right now. Well, I guess going to have such a good laugh when she hears about this. <laughs> I actually thought I had finally found something. Beautiful. All this while. I felt like I was dreaming. And I was right. I'm finally waking up from my dream. I thought I'd finally found my man. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm, I'm going to get an annulment when I get back to Lagos. I need you to leave right now. I pray that I never set eyes on you ever again get out I'll get your shit to you Silence. 
Rita, you can choose to hate me all you want right now. I understand that. But you know me, this is me. I, I, I can't pretend to be who I'm not. Everyone can't be a saint like you. Yes, I, um, I blackmailed Dave into having a one night stand with me. But I swear it was nothing serious. No strings attached, okay? You know what? I think I need to leave. If I do something, people will read in the papers. Um, wait. Rita, look, see, I, I understand how you feel, but before you go, I'm gonna tell you something I told you. I'm really sorry. The reason I kept quiet about this whole thing is because I know how much Dave loves you. I've never met two people in love with each other as much as both of you. I'm really sorry. I, I swear, I, I'm sorry. And Dave loves you. He really loves you. He could, he could kill for you. He's your one and you know that. I'm sorry. I know this might sound pretty lame right now, but I am really sorry, I swear. It was, there was nothing attached to it. It wasn't even a, that, you know how I get with alcohol and vodka sometimes. And I'm sorry. I am, I swear I am. I'll leave you guys to talk, okay? Babe, I'm sorry. Babe, I, I did a despicable thing because I was afraid. Then I felt guilty. I wanted to give you the world. And I was wrong and I'm sorry about it. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have given you so much power over me. Dave, how could you? Oh my word, it runs around you. Mine revolves around you too, Rita. I'm sorry, please. Don't touch me. Please, Rita, don't, don't do this. Don't leave, please. I'm sorry. If you leave me right now, my entire life is wrecked. Please. Please, baby, please. Please, baby. Please, baby. Please, baby. Please, baby. Why? Baby, I'll make this off my eyes. I swear. I, I... It's like my heart is about to explode in my chest. God, why? Dave, why? 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 Let me out! Let me! I can stop loving you someday. <laughs> but I 
canceled that day. Stay away from me. <laughs> I had the world. I should have been content, but I wanted more. Now I have nothing. 